let's create a new composition. Let's make composition, which is 2560 by 1440 at 30 FPS. So this is because we need a composition which is a bit bigger than our final output. Our final output will be 1920 by 1080. So now let's get our text to and let's write something. I'm going to write create this. And I'm going to enable my proportional grid, put this right in the middle, and I'm going to right click, click on pose, and I'm going to choose move all attributes into the new composition and I'm going to name this word. Very good. Now it opens up. What we're going to do now, we're going to our composition settings and we're going to make this smaller. We're going to make our composition almost the size of our text, but we want to have just a little bit of order. So this should be fine. Now let's get our word and bring it down like this. Let's go back to our composition. We're going to do our effects and presets and then we're going to type reptile. We're going to drop that on our layer. Now we're going to expand left, expand right, and now expand down and expand up. In that case, I feel like the margins here are still way too big. So let's go back to it. Let's make our composition narrower. And a bit less tall as well. So this should be good. Yeah. Very good. So now we just we already have one of the sizes. What we're going to do. We're going to press P to upper, open our position properties. We're going to select it. We're going to move to one second. Now we're going to press Ctrl R and we're going to drag this so we have a guideline here. I'm going to position my guideline here in the edge of one of our letters. It really depends. But here I'm going to use the C. And I'm going to move this and I want the next C, which is this one. to hit the line as well. So we can zoom in, come a bit closer. And that's it. So now we're going to press all click and type in loop out cycle. So if you take a look at this now, we already have our infinite loop. But one of the things that I can see is that we have a gap here. So let's expand right just a bit more. Cool, it works. What we're going to do now, we're going to duplicate this, select P, now select both our keyframes, and with shift and up and down arrow, I'm going to move this. So it's right in the middle of the other words. Now I'm going to select both keyframes here on top. I'm going to select keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. So if we look at that now, we have each line going to a different direction, but you can see that this is a bit too fast. So we're going to move our two keyframes to two seconds. Let's see. Yes, that works better. That's a little cool. So now what I'm going to do, we're going to create a new null object. I'm going to leave this right in the middle. I'm going to get my two words and I'm going to parent those two layers to my null. And I'm going to rotate my null about 25, 26 degrees or minus 26 degrees or something that you prefer. Now I have this look. Really cool. We're going to create a solid. I'm going to name this background. We're now going to choose a white color. Drop this underneath our layers. I'm going to select our three layers, click on pose. I'm going to call this text animation. Really cool, everything's working just well. Now we're going to composition, composition settings, and we're going to set this composition to 1920 by 1080. So as you can see now, we have a bit of a margin here, some extra. We have some margin here, 
and that margin will be really important once we start to apply our liquid effect on top of our text. So let's open this up. Let's create a new adjustment layer. We're going to choose an effect called liquify. Make our brush as big as possible. I'm going to use this tool right here, but you can try the other ones as well to see if you can get the look that you want to. I'm going to get to this half right here. I'm going to pull it up like this. And I'm going to on this right here, and I'm going to pull it down like this. Now I'm going to go back to our composition. I'm going to make this just a bit bigger. So we don't see that gap here. Very good. And now if we play this, now we have all this working already. Really cool, very nice looking. So let's polish this a bit. I'm going to select our text animation. I'm going to look for a gradient rim. And now I can change this to colors that I will find that are more pleasing. And now you can pick whatever color you prefer to. I'm going to go from a blue, like this, to sort of a purple color, like this. Now I'm going to open this up. Here, what I want to do, I want to select one of our two layers. It doesn't matter which one. We're going to go to Layer Styles, Stroke. Now we're going to Blending Options, Advanced Blending, Fill Opacity, and let's turn down that to zero. So we have no fill. Now we're going to Stroke, and we're going to change the color to black. Very good. So now let's go back. Now I'm going to change the color of our background by pressing Ctrl Shift Y purple or maybe black like looks nice and there you have it now our animation is all finished if you like this tutorial make sure to subscribe like or dislike if you didn't like it and if you have any feedback or ideas for next tutorials please comment in the comments below thank you mm -hmm.